Hey there, my name is Joe, and I am in physical pain literally every single day. How does that work? Hello, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back. Before we dive into today's actual topic, I have some super exciting news to share with you guys. My puppies are home. Do you see them hanging out on the couch back there like total bums? Because they're total bums, but they're so cute. I finally got to bring them home. I'm recovered enough from surgery. I'm stable. I have the capacity to take care of three big dogs, and so they are home, and oh my god, I am so happy. Audio quality on my videos is just gonna tank because there's gonna be jingling collars, paws and claws on hardwood floors, and it's gonna be glorious. So let's dive into today's actual topic, which is pain. Before we go any further, Dee is gonna help me introduce our sponsor today. Thank you to Premium Jane for sponsoring today's video. It kind of only seems right that a CBD oil company would sponsor a video where I'm talking heavily about pain. Now, many of you guys have suggested that I try CBD oil before because I've talked about being in chronic pain. Here's the thing, I actually have. I've never found it in a form that worked well for me or that I would consistently use because oftentimes the taste is really overpowering if it's like in a straight oil form or topically that just didn't really work for me and when Premium Jane reached out to me and took a look at their website and I was pretty excited by what I found. It comes in a gummy bear format and also a soft gel formula so it's really easy to take which is important to me if I'm actually going to continue with it. So ever since it arrived I've been taking a couple gummy bears every morning. It's like taking candy literally and so I'm really excited to introduce you to them. They're based in Scottsdale, Arizona and another thing that excites me about them specifically is that their products are tested by a third-party lab. If you know anything about the CBD oil industry and the rise of marijuana in the United States you know that there's a lot of companies trying to get in on this market and quality is not always the first priority. It is with Premium Jane and I love that about them. The gummy bears, which are quite delightful tasting, are vegan. They're also totally approved by Bridget, my other rat. Side note, do not give your rats CBD oil. Just don't do it. That was totally a joke. Of course, check with your doctor before you start taking anything new. You've probably heard about this before, but CBD oil can be really effective in helping people relax. It can help with pain management. And so if you haven't tried it or you're looking for a fantastic place to get it from, I would highly recommend that you try Premium Jane. Not only do they have gummy bears and soft gels, they also have two topical formulas right now and they have a number of actual oils. And if you use coupon code Joe at checkout, you will get 20% off. Right now they're also offering free shipping. So there's a lot of reasons to check out the website. Thanks again to Premium Jane for sponsoring today's video. Now let's dive back in. It's, it's rather bizarre for me to sit here and tell you, my lovely viewer, that I am in physical pain literally every single day. And to my knowledge, short of a miracle or something massively shifting in my body or the medical community, I will always hurt. That's a weird statement for me to make and that's something I don't love spending a lot of time thinking about because well, it's just not super happy to think about, but it's also the reality of the situation. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because recently I've seen a lot of comments of people celebrating the fact that I'm not hurting anymore. First of all, thank you so much. I It means the world to me that you guys care about my journey and that you're excited for the things that I'm excited about. But I did wanna talk about the fact that I actually still am in physical pain and always will be, but probably not in the way that you think. So if you're new to my channel, I had my leg amputated a year ago. There were some complications. I had to have it amputated again, which was bizarre. Now I'm finally learning to use a prosthetic leg and it's incredible and it's really, really cool and it's complicated and difficult, but it's neat. And my ability to start doing that is a sign that things went well, right? That things are going okay. So let's talk about the, the leg portion of things first. First and foremost, I think that we will get to a place where maybe my leg doesn't hurt ever again. I mean, it'll, it'll probably have some bad days, but I think it'll get to a point where my leg is not in pain every single day. We're not there yet. Let's just clarify that. We are not there yet. It is gonna take a while to desensitize my leg. It was literally cut off again seven or eight weeks ago now. And using a prosthetic leg is nowhere near comfortable. I think it will get there and I think it gets there for a lot of people from my conversations with other amputees, but it's a journey. When you lose your leg, your nerves are severed, they're rearranged, your skin is not used to having pressure in those places. And so my entire body weight that used to come down on my foot and my ankle is now coming down on parts of my body that were never designed to take it. Prosthetic technology, which is incredible, distributes it pretty well, but it's still not comfortable. It takes a while to get used to that. It takes a while for your skin and your nerves and your muscles to be like, all right, this is okay. And it takes a while to get the fit right. So right now, every day, my leg still hurts. It's still sore. It still aches. I get crazy phantom pain. And I hope that that continues to lessen. Not sure, we'll find out. But what is ridiculously exciting to me is that there's hope in sight. There's an end in sight. There's a future that I can envision for myself where I don't hurt there, where my leg doesn't hurt where I could like 
put on my leg in the morning. I could go about my day and taking steps would not cause me pain. I wouldn't have to think about that. And that was the reason that I did this because beforehand walking was really painful and the only end in sight is I would continue to degrade and get worse and worse and worse. And that wasn't the kind of life I wanted to be living because it was something that had a solution. It was a problem that had an answer. And there are other problems in my life that don't have answers that we'll get to in a second. And in my own life, I found that having control, that having some kind of autonomy and decision-making over your own life is so powerful and so important. So having the ability to say, you know what? No, this isn't working for me. I cannot stand to live like this anymore. Let's remove the problem as borderline traumatic and difficult and exhausting and weird as that is at, for the hope of a better life, right? And that's what I'm doing. And I'm really, really grateful to be on this crazy journey. But the flip side of it is there are other problems in my body that don't have solutions that have huge question marks and that the only answers that I've been given after a lot of research, a lot of digging and so many hours in doctor's offices, the only answers are, I'm sorry, it is what it is. So I have a Chiari malformation, which essentially means I was born where my brain was too big for my skull. We could say that my skull was too small for my brain. Either way, it sounds like I have a big brain and I'm super smart and that's what you should get from this statement. My brain is compressed that causes a host of symptoms and a host of issues. One of which is I get migraines often. I get them more than half the month. So I spend a lot of days in darkness and in quiet and trying to get them to calm down and manage it. I'm on a host of medications to try to balance things out. And on top of that, my neck is really messed up. I have compressed discs and that kind of interacts with the Chiari malformation because they're all right back in this area. They're all stuffed in there and they don't feel great. Like I said, I have spent years and years trying to find answers from Western medicine to the Mayo Clinic, which is incredible. And I have a whole video about that. I, I pop the link up above. They are great there. To alternative therapies, to physical therapy, to acupuncture, to meditation, to fill in the blank. Like you think of it, I've probably tried it. And I have found things that help. I have found things that lessen the symptoms and I figured out what are triggers. But at the end of the day, and I hate this sentence, I will probably never be pain-free, short of a miracle or something completely unpredictable, which I'm very open to, I will never not hurt. And I realize that that probably sounds funny. And I realize that that might sound a little bit funny coming from someone who's sitting up is dressed in clothes that aren't pajamas. I mean, this could be pajamas, but it's not. I, I braided my hair, I put earrings in, I even put some makeup on my face. Like I, I tried to put myself together today and I'm working and I'm filming a video and I'm doing stuff and I hurt all the time. I think there's like a disconnection that happens for a lot of people there. At least that's what I've experienced where like, how can someone really be in pain all the time? And wouldn't you just get used to it if your body hurt all the time? And the answer to that question is no, no. At least my experience is you don't get used to it. I don't get used to it. I don't get used to pain. I find ways to deal with it. I find ways to smile anyways. I find ways to look normal and act normal. And a lot of people don't know that I hurt unless it gets to a certain level, unless it escalates to the place where I can't handle it and I have to leave an event or lay down or I'm throwing up or fill in the blank. But I always hurt. And to be honest with you, that's a very bizarre life to live. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I've seen pain free. I've seen that, that phrase, that word, those two words show up so often recently in my videos of people writing to me. And again, thank you so much for caring, but pain-free is a painful statement for me because I don't know that I'll ever get there. I will always be trying to, I'll always be trying things. Chronic pain is weird. It's bizarre. It's not how our bodies were designed to function. And I'm gonna put some links down below if it's something you wanna understand a little bit more about, which I would absolutely encourage you to go check out. And it's hard to think about something in your life that is painful never going away. But at the same time, you can find ways to deal with it. And I think that this applies to so very many things because there are a lot of painful things in life, whether they be physical or emotional, that don't go away, that don't ever just disappear, that we don't get over. And yet we're still here, yet we're still on the planet, we're still on earth and we've got to figure out what to do. And I don't think time heals all wounds, physical or mental, but I do think 
that we are insanely adaptive, resilient creatures who learn how to function the best we can, damn it. I will continue to learn coping skills, to live in pain, to function in pain, to love life anyways. I'll continue to find community and find ways to talk about it and find ways to make life easier. It may never go away, but I think it will get easier to live with. I think back to like four years ago when it was kind of at the height of when things were really, really bad and I didn't think I could exist like that. And frankly, I couldn't. And so I had to change how I was handling life. I had to change how I was handling pain and a lot of things in my life so that I could handle it. I guess what I'm saying in short is a lot of things in life don't have answers, but we find ways to cope and to function and to live anyways. So I'll probably always be in pain and that sucks and there's no sugarcoating that. And I just wanted to clarify that, but I'm still insanely happy to be alive. Thanks for allowing me to clarify the whole pain-free thing. I'm really excited for the day that I'm walking and it doesn't hurt. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to take steps and go for a walk around my neighborhood and maybe go hiking and heck, even go running guys and it not be a significant source of discomfort or sharp pain. I'm not there yet, but if it's possible, I'm gonna get there. And I think it's possible. If you are someone who is dealing with chronic pain or some other form of any kind of pain in your life that doesn't go away, I get it. It sucks. I hear you. We're all here for each other and we're gonna find a way through it. Gosh darn it. Thank you so much for listening to me talk. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything you wanted to right now, but you decided to watch this video and it means the world to me. Thank you. Also, thank you again to Premium Jane for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can use coupon code Joe for 20% off at checkout. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky.